If we go to display, this has information on how the data is going to be displayed during the experiment. And it's always worth checking summary to make sure that we know, uh, that we confirm that things are being saved where we want, with the name that we want, with the wavelengths that we want, um, before hitting this acquire button, which will actually take the images. So all of this looks good. Now I'm gonna hit the acquire button and we can see what happens. So you can see it acquired the images for Texas Red, Fitzy, and Dappy, uh, and then showed us a composite. These images are uh, in uh, the location where we told them to go, and, and there is basically one file per channel, per uh, um, position, and per time point. So we just have one position, one time point, three channels. So here are the three images. And then there's an additional ND file, uh, which has the base name. This is very convenient because you can take this file, drag it into Fiji, and it will uh, automatically understand the metadata that it's three channels and the proper scaling.